Hey legends, it's your boy Daniel here back with another video and today I got for you another 5 tips to become a better trader. Now in the last video we've talked about the importance of sleep, the importance of food, exercise etc for trading like you wouldn't believe it but as I've said my theory that I live by about the whole trading, trading is a lifestyle, it is not a job, it is a lifestyle, either you are a trader or you are not a trader. Today I got for you 5 tips which will be more focused on the actual trading but also a little bit about the psychology as it is the most important in my belief psychology is the most important part of the whole trading and how do you control the psychology well exactly through exercise sleep and good habits so without any more bullshitting around let's jump on the first tip and that is wealthy traders are patient with winning trades and enormously impatient with losing trades for example eToro when you go to the news feed on eToro and you just go through these comments there are like three types of people the ones who's talking bullshit when something some asset or some crypto is going up and they're just like to the moon bye 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 then you got the exact opposite they come out at the time when something is going down usually the next day after it went up and they're just like sell 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 we have to sell and then you got here the third people which are the hodlers well the thing is guys um do not listen to neither of these three types of people on eToro remember that 80 plus percent people on eToro are actually losing money it is a fact eToro is actually sharing this fact it's somewhere on their website that bullshit about not selling in red like i believe it is normal it is good for the person who throwing the money usually in some index for example s p nasdaq you know for like 20 years and he's just throwing there the money not even a particular stock but usually the index because you don't need to know shit about the market you're just throwing their money every month you're accumulating the money and you just don't give a crap about 20 years so the whole idea of not selling in red is just one big bullshit which profitable traders not doing profitable traders are closing in red profitable traders are are closing the positions as soon as the position hits the red now be careful with this because on eToro there is a spread eToro is not operating on margin fees eToro is operating on spread what does it mean let's check a bitcoin the price of bitcoin is 45,400 and let's say 45,200 okay when we go and buy bitcoin we we are buying bitcoin 300 dollars more expensive for 45,500 that's the spread that eToro is taking which is automatically getting you in loss you're starting with loss so with eToro is a little bit different but when we are talking about interactive brokers when we are talking about binance and all the other who are taking the margin fee you are not starting with a with a loss that being said of course you have to have your stop loss you have to have your take profit you have to know what will make you stop the trade by the way let's say profitable traders let the winners run winners have to run believe me you will never hit actually sell on the top of the market and you will never actually buy the exact bottom of the market it, it will not happen if it will happen you're just lucky guy and believe me there is very little chance it will repeat itself so profitable trader let his winners run and close his losers as soon as possible this will lead you to a point where you can afford to lose more trades than you win but this will also lead you to the point that you will be still profitable if you will lose 60 percent of your trades and you will win only 40 percent of your trades but you will leave the, the winners run to actually double to actually double the percentage that you've closed you will be a profitable trader that being said let's say you open 100 trades 60 of them are lost and you still make money on those 40 because what unexperienced traders do let's take for example in Pixen. but in Pixen, do you till right those are mine long-term investment strategies i am i am planning to hold them for years they are very cheap in is penny stock i'm planning to hold it it can double in a matter of day but what unexperienced traders do is that the moment it gets the moment their profit gets to like 0.35 they close the position and they let their losers to lose even more so let's say this was a trade so the inexperienced trader would let his loser come to minus 45 percent and he would be like oh one day one day it will come back one day it will come back and he would close the position on his winning trade at 0.35 with this scenario you can win 90 of the 100 trades and those 10 trades and those 10 trades will make you a loss anyway so now tell me which strategy is better 
reality for you if you are a trader. I know it's hard because when you see the profit, you're just like, oh my god, this is my chance to take a profit. This is my chance to take a profit. I cannot miss this chance. And when you see how it is in last, you're just like, oh, one day it's gonna turn around. Maybe, bro, it may turn around one day. Maybe it will just go bankrupt. Who knows? For example, look at IBM. This is a good example of company which many people thought it will go to the moon. So let's say you bought, let's say 2012, okay? Since 2012, the company have been falling until now. And it's nine years and it will continue to fall. So you will be waiting nine years for a company that don't even need to rise again. You know, it's the market is, it, it looks like a funny game, but it's actually, it's really not that easy as it looks like. You know, I mean, last year we had just the, one of the years on the market when you could invest into fucking air and you would make money and everyone is beating to the chest like, oh, look at me, look at me, bro. Shut the fuck up. Last year meant shit because everyone could make money last year on any fucking position. So, you know, I'm just saying, uh, you can still be a hodler, you can still think that I'm s some dickhead, you know, and just don't believe me, but it's okay. This is my strategy, it is making me money, and you know, I am I'm happy with it. The tip number two, profitable traders realize that making money is more important than being right. Now, we've got exactly the very beautiful example right now. Let's look at the recovery place, just for example, Delta Airline, okay? Now, if you've been like, uh, let's take a look, for example in april you would buy in april and you will be like oh my god covid is over you know we've got vaccines like delta it will do nothing oh like i can just buy and i don't give a crap well you will be in loss the market is not logical the market do not care at least now that delta variant don't need to be that harm for people for vaccinated people you know making money on the market is more important than being right i know it's hard to go against yourself we as a people we've got ego and i know it's hard as fuck to go with ego but well, let me tell you this when you detach yourself from your ego you're gonna be unstoppable trader you have to be okay with a loss loss is absolutely normal on the market the best trader in the world they all lost all lost. everyone's gonna lose on the market but it depends as we've come back to the point number one you have to know how to lose and you have to know how to win patience with the winning trades and impatience with the losing trades guys the point number three profitable traders realize the market will be open again tomorrow the the big problem of the people of this era is the that they come on the market and they're like all in amc all in gamestop all in crypto no money management at all no education and that's just that's just ridiculous guys remember one thing the market was here before you the market will be here tomorrow the next week next month next year next 10 years market will be here after you're gonna die we're all gonna die market will be here after we are dead market will be here Will you be on the market? What's the point of going all in every time and risking the chance that you've got? The chance that will be here maybe forever. Who knows? We will not know. You know what I'm saying? Guys, it takes time. It takes years. It takes years to build it. The tip number four. Before they enter any trade, they know exactly where they will exit for either a gain or a loss. This is very important. As a trader, you have to know where is your stop loss. Take profit. Well, it can be... You can set take profit. I usually do not set take profit, but stop loss is extremely important. And the point number five, the last tip, they approach the next trade with the same mindset they did on the previous trade. That being said, guys, every trade that you open, every position that you open is a new position on the market. This is more about emotions. You know, when something is going up, for example, as Bitcoin, you get this feeling of greed, get this hype. This is a great graph about the emotions on the market. First, you get optimistic, then you get excited, then you go thrill, then you are in a state of euphoria. Then suddenly, the stock is falling, you get anxiety, you are denial, you get this fear, you get this desperation, you get this panic. You capitalize and then you sell. <laughs> At the exact worst time when you should buy, you sell. You are depressed. Then you see the stock is rising again. You are again like, you get again this hope. Then you get this relief. Then you get this optimism. It's just all wrong, guys. There has to be a straight line with no emotions. Try cut the optimism, excitement. Try cut all of these emotions. Don't have depression. 
Do not panic, do not have fear, do not have euphoria. Do not care about the winners. Fuck the winners and fuck the losers. Have same attitude towards winners and towards losers. Do not have emotions on the market. And this again leads me to the tips that I've told you in the last video, which helps you to not be emotional. That means good, healthy diet, exercising, great sleep. If you want to learn more about it, I'm gonna add the video on the end of this video so you can go and check it out. Guys, this has been five trading tips. Which which when you will apply mainly to your mindset, to your mental game, you can become definitely a better trader. But you have to really accept them. When you will do it, you will apply them, you will be definitely a better trader. Guys, that's been all for today's video. Uh, in the next one, we're gonna check crypto market because we've got some explosion going on in the crypto market. By the way, today we've invested as a group 11%. We're back in the profit, we are back in the green numbers, yeah, 31.5% so far this year great profit if you want to join to our group is absolutely free guys link is down in the description uh, the minimal amount on each euro is i believe 250 500 but i uh, i highly recommend you to invest in this at least 1000 and hold it as long as you want to i mean i'm not pushy to anyone i believe just the result speaks for itself and will speak for itself and and we will continue grow guys that's all for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you like these kind of videos leave the likes up let me know down in the comments what you would like to see next it's been your boy daniel see you on wednesday peace